Hey everyone, it's Nate Johnson here from FlyPlugins.com and welcome to this documentation video on our new bulk import feature for your WP Courseware users where we can use a CSV file to bulk import a large number of students and enroll them in one or more courses. So you're going to find this in the WP Courseware settings on the left hand side of your screen under Import Export. So we'll go ahead and click on that and once that comes up you can see at the top of the screen here we have an option to import users so we'll click on that now as it says you can import a CSV file of users using the form below and what you're going to do is simply hit choose file and upload your user uh, list but uh, we do have uh, an example CSV file here you so you can click on that I've already actually got it open you'll see the format of that here it's going to be first name last name email address and the courses that you want to add these users to so you're probably going to be using a long list of users here with one particular course so you would indicate the number of that course that you want to add this list to and you can find that on the WP courseware training courses screen and under my training courses you can see that each course has a course ID so that's the number that you're going to add into the field for courses to add to you can see I've created my own example file here with my first name last name email address and course number one which corresponds to test course one in our WP courseware installation here but let's first go back over to that import export function and take a look at the notes that we see just to give you a few helpful tips when you're importing a list of users via CSV it does say that if a user email address exists then just the courses are updated for that user so it won't actually import another user with that email address because we can't have more than one user in the database with the same email address so it's just going to update their course permissions Usernames are generated from the first and last name information if a user name already exists then a unique username would be generated to create that new user. To add a user to many courses, just separate those course IDs with a comma, as you saw in the spreadsheet there in the courses to add to column. If a user is created, any courses set to be automatically assigned will be done first, and then the courses added in the course to add to column. So keep in mind that if you import a list of students via CSV, and you have courses in your WP Courseware training course list that is set to automatically enroll students for particular courses they are going to go into that course and then the system is going to check to see if there are additional courses in your CSV file that they need to be added to again we have the example uh, CSV file here and as we talked about the IDs for training for courses can be found on your course summary page so again we've opened up the CSV file and we've created a, uh, a test file here with one user which is me Nate Johnson Nate at flyplugins.com and course number one so we'll just save that now we'll go ahead and flip back over to the import users from CSV file function within WP Courseware we're just going to choose our file and click import users okay import started import complete one users were registered zero users updated and zero user entries could not be processed so that looks good we didn't have any errors so now what we can do is head on over and look at my new registration and ensure that I am now enrolled and given access to course number one all right, so as you can see at the bottom of the list here, I have now been added to this WordPress installation as a user, and I have been associated with test course one. I can click on update course access permissions just to verify, but I go in and I can see that I've been, auto I have been not been automatically, but through our CSV import, I have been registered for access to our test course one. Uh, so this is a really really handy feature if you need to import a lot of users at once to one or more courses and you don't want to have to do that manually do keep in mind that uh, if you do this bulk import 
use, new users will also be added to any courses that you have set to automatic enrollment. So anything that you don't want newly imported users added to, be sure to go in and set those courses to manual registration in your course settings, which is, if we click on edit course settings, that will be here. You can switch from automatic to manual and that's it. Enjoy this feature. We're glad to get this out to you. A lot of you have been asking for this one and we hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.